Hello, my name is Oliver Schmidt. Today I'm going to show you CC65 Chess on the Apple II. This program was originally written by Stefan Bessels back in 2014 for the Commodore 64. He used the CC65 cross development toolchain to implement the program. And he did a nice abstraction layer between the chess engine and the general user interface and the actual rendering code for the Commodore machine. Therefore, it was easy to create an Apple II version of the program without changing anything in the engine or the general user interface code. Okay, let's see. The Apple II version of the program is optimized for black and white display. And let's just start out with the defaults of one player playing white against the machine in easy mode. Being optimized for black and white means that, for example, the cursor I'm using here is not trying to use any color like it is done on the Commodore version. However, the cursor has different states. For example, right now, here I can move the figure, while here I cannot move the figure. There's nothing to move. This is done by having a smaller cursor and here a larger cursor. You see the small cursor here and the larger cursor where I can move something. When I cannot move a figure, it has a medium size. Okay, let's select this figure and move it here. Now black has moved and I'm just doing another silly move. Okay, now I can show you that the undo and the redo See, just works as expected, and the lock on the right hand side displays the moves done so far. Another aspect I'd like to show is that the um, board with all those strange numbers works pretty much as it does on the Commodore version as well. The menu that you have already seen briefly is, as you can see here, implemented using the bottom four-line text of the Apple II. This makes it very quick to show and quick to navigate. Okay, let's see about the attackers. You can see, now I turned on the attackers. And the defenders look at the bottom king. But no later when you um, turn on both the attackers and the defenders, it gets a little bit hard to get what is going on. This is the point where this program, which is primarily um, optimized to black and white has some color support. Let's go over to see this here on another monitor I have attached to my Apple II GS. So um, this is not any emulation thing but this is the real thing. You can see here now that the attackers are red. Turning it on and off and that the defenders green. And by the way, when I have selected a piece, it is displayed as purple. And now I can move around the cursor. So you see, program generally optimized for monochrome display, but nevertheless, where it makes sense, making use of color without disturbing the monochrome display. And Additionally, you can see the benefit of doing the menu as the text overlay because there's no color fringe whatsoever in the menu because 
the color as uh, generating hardware is turned off for the text overlay. Okay, this is basically all I wanted to show you about the Apple II specific aspects of CC65 chess. Bye.